We are talking 53-man projection after week one of the 2023 NFL preseason where the Lions faced the New York Giants. We got some changes in regards to some of these players. That's what this video is all about. Let's go. Before we get into today's video, we are literally five subscribers away from 36,500. If you're one of those five, Go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Let's go ahead and get to 36500 With your help, that can happen. And I got a question for you. Do you think we're going to keep two quarterbacks or three quarterbacks? In the comment section, put two if you think two. And put three if you think three. And that brings us to the quarterback position for the Detroit Lions. I got the Lions go ahead and getting three quarterbacks for Detroit. And obviously, I got Jared Goff being the starting quarterback for the Detroit Lions. Switch here is Teddy Bridgewater will be number two with the performance of Nate Sudfield. I think it pretty much doomed his any chance of making this roster. And obviously, it pretty much doomed his chance, let's be honest, when Teddy Bridgewater signed with our Detroit Lions. I think the real question is, is Hendon Hooker, you know, is he going to be on the active roster? Is he going to be placed on some sort of list? I think that's pretty much the question there. And that'll pretty much determine of Martinez. I do believe Martinez has a spot on the practice squad. I think it lock, it makes a lot of sense for Detroit to put him there for his mobile and dual threat ability. And he showed some promise in preseason. So the pinned comment again, I'm going right here. Do you think the Detroit Lions going to go two quarterbacks or three quarterbacks? Put two if you think two. Put three if you three believe it. That will be the case in the comments below. Let's go ahead and jump into the running back position for our Detroit Lions. A little bit of change here. For Detroit, I got the Lions going four running backs. Jameer Gibbs, David Montgomery, and Craig Reynolds being the one, two, three. Benny Snell sneaking in to number four. First off, Justin Jackson retired, so he's not going to be part of the equation. Mo Ibrahim underperformed, and I think... When it comes to Benny Snell, he did the best out of, you know, the other running backs that was in the mix there. Now, he only played in one preseason game, but on six carries, he did 23 yards. And it was not just 23. It was straight, straight line yards. Very good runs for him. He showed consistent in bursts at the line of scrimmage. I thought he did best of everyone on the field in the running back in the running back group. So I really believed he did a really good job for his performance. And I think right now he's jumping ahead of the other running backs. And that's including Jason Cabinda, who is a fullback. So right now I have him taking the lead on that one. When it comes to the tight ends, Sam Laporta, James Mitchell, and Brock Wright will be the tight ends for the Detroit Lions. And yes, when it comes to the wide receiver, go ahead and put Marvin Jones Jr. on this list and have him on there. There's going to be Jamison Williams be taking a, it's a six-week suspension. So maybe Mims will get moved when he comes back. I don't know. But go ahead and throw Marvin Jones Jr. on this list. Let's go and jump to the wide receiver position. Amon Ra, first down. Jamison Williams, Josh Reynolds, Khalif Raymond. I got Denzel Mims jumping in here. He didn't really do anything, obviously, last preseason game, but I think he'll have an opportunity to showcase that. They traded for him, and he'll be in place of Jamison Williams for the first six games with that speed. And he showed promise in training camp. Just got to see it on the field there. And Antoine Green sneaking in right now to be that final wide receiver. A lot of people could take that. Maurice Alexander for the kick returner, I think he's definitely in, in in there right, you know, in the mix right now for that as, as a kick returner. And uh, Dylan Drummond didn't perform as I thought as best he could. I thought Antoine Green did really well for him with the, the time he was on the field. Now, Chase Cota as well is in the mix. I do have it very close because he performed well like a Tom Kennedy, but I think he's a player that the Lions legitimately could go ahead and throw on the practice squad, and I don't think any team's going to claim him. So you got to think about 
how they formulate the roster. You know, if you place this said player on the practice squad, will he get picked up by another team? I think Mims would get picked up by another team. I think that would be the case. Maurice Alexander potentially could, but he's got to prove a little bit more at the wide receiver position. He's good at the the kick return, and he did a phenomenal job, and I want him, you know, to be in this mix, but he did drop a couple passes for Detroit, so that's what I got going on with him right now. Offensive line, Taylor Decker, Jonah Jackson, Frank Ragno, Halapluti Vati Vaitai, Panay Sewell, Grand Glasgow, backup, Colby Soresdale, backup, and unfortunately, Matt Nelson, the backup tackle. Now, this is just going for right now. The way things are, are performing, especially with Matt Nelson here, the Lions legitimately, when other teams cut down to 53, pick up another tackle there. They, re- they really could because Matt Nelson was getting put on his butt. He wasn't looking good. He wasn't doing what you want a backup tackle to do. There's a, uh, there's other players that could be in the mix right there, but that's going with who right now. But, man, make no mistake about it, Matt Nelson may not make this team and I, I really don't believe he makes it. I think that that final name there will probably be from another squad, in my opinion. Another comment for you guys. Name a surprise cut for the Detroit Lions. Any name you want to put in the comments below, put a surprise cut. I'm curious to see what you got right there. Let's go interior defensive line here. I got Lee McNeil. Isaiah Bugs, Broderick Martin, and yes, Levi on Uzurike make it its final interior defensive lineman. I had him in the outs looking in, and he's still got a ways to go. I don't think he's fully able to, to keep that roster spot at this moment, but he played. He made a good play. He didn't make one good play. Either way, he did, he's on the field, and I think that's the biggest thing for Levi is his ability to stay on the field, and I'm happy to see that. I'm happy that he is playing, and you want to continue to see his progress, but right now, I have him in on instead of the outs. Let's go to the edge rusher position here. Aiden Hutchinson, John Kaminsky, James Houston, Joshua Pascal, Charles Harris, Romeo Aquara, and yes, Julian Aquara sneaking in this position. It is such a good group right now on the edge position. It really, really is. And Julian Aquara came in with three sacks. Romeo Aquara, one sack. They like, they like Charles Harris and Joshua Pascal is a player who's young on the rise. These guys are legit good. It was hard to only go six edge rushers. I had a hard time with it, folks. I really did. I thought that the Lions had an opportunity here to to just go ahead and keep seven because of Julian and what he performed there for the Lions in that preseason game. And if he continues this route. He should make the roster. Absolutely should. Really good looking at the Lions, you know, edge position. Let's jump to the linebackers here. I got Alex Anzalone, Jack Campbell, Derek Barnes, Derek Barnes, Malcolm Rodriguez, Jalen Reeves, Maben, Anthony Pittman, I removed in favor of Julian Aquara. I think the Lions got a good edge position. I think they got players who who are at edge who could play linebacker as well, universal. I like this group right here. Jalen Reeves may be a special teams guy, but he's also making plays in preseason. The Lions got a good linebacking group. Jack Campbell, Derek Barnes showing out. Really looked good against the Giants on Friday. It really did. And again, you know, should I go six? But Julian snuck in there for me. And with him sneaking in an edge, I had to remove a player. So that was Anthony Pittman. It's more of the play of Julian instead of the lack there of play of, you know, uh, Anthony Pittman. But that's what I got going on for the Lions there. Let's jump to the cornerback position Cameron Sutton, Emmanuel Mosley, Jerry Jacobs, Chase Lucas, and Starling Thomas. Who do I not have on there? 
Will Harris. I think Will Harris removed himself from the competition at the the cornerback position. I would rather take the undrafted rookie and Chase Lucas over Will Harris. That's my personal opinion there. They've done a good job in spite of of you know the the lack of opportunities they have. I mean, Starling Thomas really good in camp and I think I would take the projection of him over Will Harris. So question for you guys, will Will Harris make this roster? Why for yes and for no? Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. Let's go ahead and go to this safety position here. CJ Gardner-Johnson, Brian Branch, Tracy Walker, Kirby Joseph, all locks to make this football team hell of a safety group. And I threw in Xavier Smith there as a player whom the Lions can go ahead and have at the depth position. I think he's fine there. I think this is one of the best depth positions in this group. I think these guys are general locks to make this football team. I truly do. I think these guys are fantastic. I mean, obviously, C.J. Garner Johnson can play nickel. Same with Brian Branch. They're switching up there. But that's just the, the name of the position that I have. The final battles here, special teams here, and I got Jack Fox obviously making it. Scott Daly, obviously long snapper. Riley Patterson making it for the Detroit Lions to be the Lions kicker. Now, Romo and Patterson did both play well on Friday I'm giving the edge to Patterson because the Lions traded for him. That is really it. I mean, this battle is really going to go down to week three of the preseason. They're going to have ample opportunities in training camp and against the Jaguars and, and going forth in preseason to see who wins the final kicker position for Detroit. But I think he has it right now. I think he has a leg up, no pun intended, to get that spot taken that's my 53 man roster prediction again in the comments give me your thoughts who do you think should be on this who do you think should be off it I want to know your thoughts turn this into a conversation we will be live on my channel 1 p.m on Thursday and live on Saturday for the Lions versus Jacksonville Jaguars live watch party it was fun against the Giants. We're going to do it again here on this channel. Make sure you subscribe. Make sure you hit that notification bell so you don't miss out on the latest news rumors regarding our Detroit Lions.